Hello, welcome to Chi Diaries. Today you are going to see how I achieved this neatly parted box braid on a short natural 4C hair. This hair is really just about 1 inch. I am not exaggerating. Her beautiful hair is also very thick and full. You are going to see 3 different ways I grip the hair to get the best result I can. You are going to see how I managed to part the hair to get neat patterns without using braiding gel. You are also going to see how I keep the hair soft and moisturized in the course of braiding the hair and how I minimize the hair that sticks out of the extension. The first way I gripped the hair in this back portion where the hair is not as thick as the middle is to just grab the whole, her whole hair into one of the three strands when making the braid. They help me minimize the amount of hair that will stick out of the braid. I do not use this rat tail comb to detangle her hair. In the course of the video very soon you will see how I keep her hair soft and detangled. So sometimes I use it to comb through the hair, just lengthen the natural hair a little bit so that I will be able to grip it. Attempting to grip a hair that is this short can result in the braid being very very painful. So I had that in mind when making her hair, trying as much as possible to minimize any pain she would feel afterwards and also to not cut her hair. You will see how these braids look comfortable. They do not look too tight. So for the hair extension, we are using expression hair cut into four. So the hair is not long. Using the brick formation in making the hair because I didn't want to use too much hair extensions but I didn't want the hair to look scanty. Using this brick formation is going to make the hair appear fuller than when you line up, your, line up the patterns on top of each other. That is going to make you see straight lines running from the front of the head to the back and that is going to make the braids lie on top of each other leaving gaps all the way from the front of the hair to the nape of the neck so to avoid this when you do the brick formation when parting your hair it makes the hair lie in a way that the hair looks fuller than it actually is so as you can see she is still kind of young and i didn't want to use too much hair extension so that the hair would look just nice for her. <laughs> for her. At this point, I had blow dried this section of her hair to see if it was going to make it easier. But at the end, I just decided that it wasn't worth the heat I was applying to the hair, and I let it go and just took my time to continue the braid on very wet <laughs> moisturized hair and now for this thickest part of her hair when braiding the hair I kind of sheared her natural hair into three strands to join the three arms of the braiding hair I was using and then I would braid to the extent to the place where her hair stops. Once I get to almost exactly where her natural hair terminates, I add a little braiding hair. You will see me do so now to help me hold down and minimize how obvious where the hair stops so I just add this little hair on top of the ending part of her natural hair to help the transition of where her hair stops and into the braiding hair look more 
look just a little bit neater i hope you understand what i mean i am going to repeat it again for you to see better there you go so that is how i do this technique okay, i am just stretching out the hair to let you see the length of this hair for real this hair is just about one inch long to moisturize and keep the hair soft i have been doing this in section i use shea butter a generous amount of shea butter and my mist which contains very little mostly water and very little leave-in conditioner I spray the water on the hair generously then rub the shea butter I try to make sure I massage the shea butter all the way into her hair I do this for every section as I go along and then comb out the hair to detangle it. When you see me using rat tail comb, I do not use that to detangle her hair. Please do not use rat tail comb to comb your hair when it is not detangled because you will just be breaking off your pressures. And when I am starting off the braid, I do not fold the hair extension using the 2 to 1 ratio type of format. I just have one thicker, one thicker part and two equal smaller parts. But once I braid the hair past where her natural hair is, I will have to borrow hair extensions from the bigger section of the braiding hair and add it to the two smaller ones so that they will all be equal if the three parts of your braiding hair are not equal you are going to get a braid that is not straight So to finish up the braid, once I braid the three strands up to where the hair is now to thin, I switch over to braiding two strands braids just to help me make sure I get to the very very end of the hair extensions and get the, braid, the end of the braids very neat.
my apologies. The few times I used the third method, I was right in front of the camera and had to edit it off because I didn't show what I was doing. But where the hair is really really thin and I was worried that the hair will pull off. Once I braid the hair to, after the first couple of braids, I use one of the strands to wrap the base of the hair before joining it back into the braid just to give it extra security and make sure that the hair doesn't slip off later although with the texture of her hair it will be it will be more difficult for the hair to slip off but because the hair is really short i had to do that in some areas just for extra security if you do like this video please give it a thumbs up remember to subscribe if you are interested i make hairstyle tutorial videos lifestyle girl talk or just general life advice and also i share my youtube growth tips and tricks on this channel if any of this interests you please remember to subscribe before you leave i have other hairstyle videos in the playlist i labeled making your hair at home or something like that the link will be in the description bar and at the end of this video to trim the flyaways on the hair extension when i was done i just used a hand dryer to blow dry the straight aways down and i did just very minimal trimming with a scissors on the hair extension not on her natural hair i must say despite how careful i was i cannot vouch 100 percent that this hair didn't have places where the hair her natural hair was sticking out but i promise you it is very very minimal just because i took the extra time to make sure i tuck her natural hair into the hair extensions very well and also because the hair wasn't dry since it was moisturized it made it so much easier and she loved her hair which matters a lot to me i then went ahead to dip the ends of the braids in hot water to seal it off you cannot tell that it is the end product of where we started of the one inch very thick full fussy hair so i hope you learned something from this video remember to subscribe thank you so 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 much I have other videos that I promise will interest you. Take your time to browse around. Bye and have a wonderful day.